<gasps> oh no! <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> that, that did not work the way I had intended. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Welcome to episode 2 of The Lila Plays! There's not going to be many dull moments if this is a start for us to go by at all. And <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. And it's just going to be one adventure after the next if this is any indicator whatsoever. But let's go get my stuff back if we can. <laughs> hey. No, you're not allowed to have my sword. Rude. Don't die, don't die. Okay, well. Fun times had by all. <laughs> wow, that was... Ah, uh, dork. So, I have been thinking... Actually, I should rephrase that. I have not been able to stop thinking about what plans I have and what I want to do on this server and what what things sound intriguing to try or do or whatever. So I'm thinking I'm going to kind of build stuff based off a book series, actually. Um, it's a steampunk flared fantasy and oh that's random and there's a whole bunch of different terrains in this so i'm thinking i might do something with that i might i'm not sure what i'm gonna do regarding the mesa if i'll actually like do something with that or if i'm just gonna have the mesa be a zone where i go and i collect stuff and that's that what the wait what no i am not doing pillagers without armor without armor without food in hard mode no no thank you hi sorry i need food you are food sorry Whoa, hey. No, sorry, you are food. I don't want to deal with pillagers yet. I mean, honestly, I enjoy pillagers, but I am not anywhere near kitted out enough for that. That's... No. At the very least, I need something... Do I have enough? Oh, I need wood for that. I need to make a shield. There we go. At least I have a little more protection than I otherwise had. And protection is a very good thing. Especially if there's a chance that there's big ol' baddies around here. Good grief. I was really not anticipating that quite yet. So I admit, I did some off-camera stuff earlier, as is evidenced by the fact that I have papal sheep, and I have three cows. Oh, the other one grew up. Okay. I'm like, what? How? And I did a wee bit of work over here on my future- there's a- now there's another cow up there? Where were you the other day? I could have used you. I could have... I could have given you other friends. Cow. You failed. I... Mm. You missed all the fun, guys. And I just now realized I never actually gave a bottom pillar to that. And that's just wrong. That's better. Okay. 
But yeah, so I did a wee bit of exploring. Not that much, honestly. Just enough to go... I have no memory of that. Um, okay. But I did a wee bit of exploring. I went a bit abroad over to explore the terracotta a little bit. Enough so I could get some to make green terracotta. Um... I feel like I should do maybe another layer, another color for like a top floor. I'm not yet decided, honestly. I'm going to figure that out. I did, it's not quite a custom tree, but it's not quite a natural tree. But I wanted something a little bit more because I was getting more bees. And I wanted to have something pretty for my bees. So that was a thing that happened as well. Really, honestly, it wasn't all that much happening, but to be perfectly honest, I was trying to record stuff when I had my kiddos were up and hanging out on the other side of the house, and there was much noise, and somehow, even though I had the door closed, it was not enough of noise suppression. And so it was, it was, it was very noisy and the audio that I had recorded was a little too much noise for me to try to work through separating with the equipment that I currently have. So I am sorry that that's not going to be available right now, but I figure that's also okay because honestly a good chunk of it was the grindy stuff that no one really wants to just hang out and watch someone grind endlessly. Although, I mean, if that's the case for you and you're like, yes, I, I want to watch, you know, you grind in the mines and probably fall to your death more times than you actually showed in your opening video, um, then leave a comment saying, hey, let's actually see, you know, see you work for this stuff. And maybe next time I'll show a fraction more of my deaths. I don't tend to die a ton, but I also, I don't know, I've been more clumsy in game lately. <laughs> I don't know if that's even possible, but it is. And yeah, that there was, there were some unfortunate incidents that involved heights and me and testing in-game gravity, which let me tell you, in-game gravity actually is working and it's working quite well. Um, so that's a thing. And yeah, I'm not sure if you guys need to really see all the times that Lila decided to eat it. Although also I'll be honest, it's kind of funny in a sad, painful, cringe kind of way. So that that's why there's work done that you will have no recollection of for having just started off this game. But that's okay, I reckon. Let's see here. I want to actually go collect a little bit more of the honeycomb because my eventual goal, whenever I get my starter base done... When I get that done, is I'm going to actually have some candles around and that nice little atmospheric stuff going on. Oh, don't fall in the water. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, let's not to do that. Um, we'll see. Honestly, I might do some more grinding in like another couple minutes just because I need to hit up the mines and get me some riches, y'all. I, I am poor. I mean, to be fair, I'm not in a world that really I need much, per se. But, yeah, no, I, I need to have some things. Actually, I want to use the birch. So I can have... I need to remember, I am not on the server I play specifically and I don't have a claim that is protected from creepers and if a creeper decides to come over and say yo I'm a Minecraft Scrim Reaper things are gonna go kaboom and it's gonna be very sad actually I could use that why not we're gonna use it we're gonna do the thing 
<laughs> okay. This wall... I don't expect to do any building over here. So I can just go ahead... Uh, nope. No, friend. That's not where you go. But I can go ahead and just make this wall an actual just... Boom. Solid wall. Aww. And then I can have window to watch the sunset. I could probably do this as a solid wall as well. That'll probably be left open. I'm thinking, actually, if I do close this one up, I can make stairs about here to go up to a second floor. This will be a little hallway. Oh, hello. Nope, 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 nope. I do not have a bow and arrow. Why is it following me? Yeah, take a little bit of fall damage, please. <gasps> All that, and there wasn't not even one little thing of of gunpowder. Oh. Cheap little creeper. So I decided, well I realized, oh goodness I didn't realize that, um, that when I was last here at this lovely little empty village that yeah there's villagers but there's not much going on over here. I'm not going to worry too much about doing a lot with the village quite yet. But I know that once you have gone to a village, oftentimes then mobs start kind of coming and killing them off one by one. And I really don't want to lose villagers before I can use them. So I realize I should probably come by and just take a bit of time and kind of claim this village in a sense. I'm trapping as many villagers as I possibly can behind blocked doors right now while they are sleeping. Which honestly is a little scary for me because I'm finally working my way up with levels and I really don't want to lose a whole bunch. But I really also want to keep what uh, villagers I have here in this conveniently close by town. And so I'm... Hoping I'll be able to get as many as possible and protect them this way without dying in the process. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna bloop. There we go. Um, but I'm here so I can theoretically, hopefully, get everyone blocked up behind the doors and protect as many as possible. I'm gonna sleep here, dude. Sorry. I'm taking over your bed. Um, there'll probably be a few like this fellow who are going to want to go free the second I let them. We'll see. Yeah. But I at least have more than two that are secured. So I don't have to worry about losing everyone. And now I will be able to have, at my own leisure and time, I can come back and get everyone all to the levels I want them and have some good trades hopefully because eventually I'll come back to the village and I will <clears throat> uh, zombify I will zombify them and then I will heal them and get some good trades and have that as an option for myself so that's that's going to be a thing later won't be done right away I'd rather get my bunny you do not belong in the water <laughs> Do I chase the bunny? I will not chase the bunny. If this was in the sand, I would consider it. Um, anyhow, I was distracted by that. Sorry, squirrel, bunny, same diff. But I'm going to get that fully to where I want it, and it'll be lovely. And in the meantime now, I'm going to go back and probably work on some more of my build. And... I'll do some of that stuff off camera again, unless someone says in the comments that they really want to see all the the nitty gritty, here's a Lila mining, here's a Lila testing gravity, you know, I'll spare you guys all that. But I'm thinking I'll probably go out and get me some more terracotta. I'm thinking, thinking I will do like the dark blue terracotta for up on this floor. 
kind of a thing. And then maybe I'll do... Mm, I don't know. Do I want to do like a deep slate roof if I get that? Do I wanna? I don't. I don't know what color roof I'm gonna do yet. Those four probably, honestly, will get changed out at some point. Um, I don't know. We shall see. But at the very least, I'm thinking I want blue terracotta because the blue terracotta is just pretty, and I would like to do that. So, yeah. We'll we'll see what happens. But I'm slowly gathering up my corn flowers because I'm gonna need those. And I should probably make sure I get... No, I actually have short cane started. I need more leather, and then I can start making paper. And I really just need to finish the house up there, because once I finish that house, then I can actually have more storage, and I won't have to worry about this chest monster thing that's growing and becoming more of an issue. So that's that's going to be my goal, I think. I think that will be my plan. Actually, I need to put that back. And... Oh, do I want to go mining or do I want to go terracotta-ing? How much terracotta do I currently have? I have not very much. But I do have that. And I have that. Oh, I'll have to figure that out later. But that's what I'm currently thinking. We'll see. We'll see. Just wanted to bring you into the loop, as it were. Okay. So I've done a little bit more just building stuff at the moment, and I have the, I'm going to do the blue terracotta, I'm thinking. I think that will kind of fit with the theme of what I'm aiming for in the aesthetic here. I'm not entirely sure about this upper floor, how, how I'm going to do it to fit though. So I threw this little stuff down. This is subject to change. I'm not entirely sure. And you can kind of see I did this over here, which this is going to be the hallway going. Actually, I don't need the sign saying hallway. I know what this is now. Um, this is going to be going up here to which will eventually be my treasure room that I smoothed out here. But I'm not sure if I'll leave the dirt or if I'm going to swap that out eventually to be stone, maybe like stone and andesite and kind of have like a dwarvish feel to that. Um, which Dorvish doesn't really fit the world aesthetic that I'm aiming for, what I'm aiming for, like, steampunk fantasy, Stones of Terrain-esque. But at the same time, that natural look is what I'm going for. I am still thinking I'm going to kind of widen this ever so slightly down here, shape it a bit more, and put in glass, and have this be, like, not a porthole. It doesn't quite work when it's, you know, above ground, but some sort of, like, ha you know, looking out here type thing. Um, so this is going to be my treasure room where I can store all my stuff. And this may or may not still be a thing. I'm not excited about that area. But this will eventually close off and make this a completely mob-free-ish theoretical safe zone. Can we make a side note of how thankful I am that torches and their fire do not light coal like this on fire can you imagine like if you're in the mine and you're like oh I'll put down a torch and you put it down on coal and then oh no now my mine is on fire oh no smoke is a thing like I'm just grateful that's not a thing I also don't need a sign knowing I know this is the bedroom area probably <laughs> or this will be the bedroom area upstairs I I don't know I'm not sure how I want this to look yet I definitely like the green terracotta. I definitely like having it kind of blend in a natural way. But, and I like the green with the purple. I just do. But I'm not sure if I want to keep these modern straight lines or if I want to bring it in maybe and kind of narrow it slightly. That might be what I end up doing. I don't know. I'm probably going to leave that build alone for a while and just do mining for the rest of the day. So... If you have any thoughts on that, feel free to leave a comment and say, Hey, Lalila, you forgot this totally awesome idea that you could do, so you should do this thing instead. And if it fits the aesthetic that I'm aiming for, then by golly, I'll do it. Because this is the thing I'm, I've been struggling back and forth with, and I just don't know. And all I know is I really need to finish up there soon, because this is a chest that 
after I keep mining, it, this is going to fill up very quickly. And I'm not going to place glass until I figure out exactly because I don't want to put in glass, break glass, and have that, that challenge. Because I'm lazy. And I can harvest before the sun goes down. So I'm hoping to soon have a couple more bookshelves because we're, our cows are getting to the point now where I can start harvesting them. Um, for lack of a better word. But I'm going to start making my bookshelves and kind of getting ready for whenever I do get to having an enchanter and diamonds and all that glorious good stuff. So I would like to have that be upstairs or, or downstairs. I'm thinking maybe upstairs in that house, in which case I really need to figure out what that build is going to look like entirely as far as this upstairs thing like it's not gonna be a tower by any means at least no it's not gonna be a tower but I need to figure that out so I'll probably look up some ideas online see if the reddit threads have any good stuff and uh, if anyone has any fabulous ideas that they feel like posting on here then I'll take a gander at those I'm gonna sleep before any creepers decide to blow holes in my stuff again because I don't want to deal with that today tonight whatever time that is in game whatever time it is in reality that you're watching this and that I'm playing this so that's my current plan and I'm gonna breed up a couple cows I haven't actually I suppose I don't have any chickens do I care that I don't have chickens I don't really care right now um I'll also fully admit that for the aesthetic of this overall world that I'm planning the colors of this house don't necessarily fit depending on where I am in that world. But this is going to be like my house that doesn't really fit the entire thing. So I can do whatever colors I want. And it'll just be my personal base of happiness. Because that's the thing. Actually, I'll swap this out. And I will make me some paper. Paper, paper, paper. I have only one leather right now. We're going to change that soon. But hurrah, we have our first book. Behold, it begins. Why are my seeds here? I don't need seeds there. I'm going to take all those seeds and get me some bone meal. Because bone meal is not not easy to come by, actually. I, I need more bones. And I'm grateful to see not that many skelly boys, but it also would have been kind of nice to see more skelly boys. Because if I had more skelly boys, I would actually have more bones. And then I can befriend a puppy. And that would be kind of nice to have a puppy companion for mob's purposes. <laughs> and I need to get some potatoes growing. I don't have any potatoes, do I? I need to get some potatoes. I like having jacket potatoes. Oh my goodness, jacket potatoes. That's a thing that's suddenly a new phrase. I'll have to blame that one on certain peoples that I watch online that call them jacket potatoes. And now it's rubbing off on me, apparently. But yeah, so I'm going to do some off-camera mining. Build up my leather factory here. And I'll try to resist building this anymore right now and see if I get any people's suggestions on what I should or shouldn't do with that. So thanks for watching and I hope that you'll come back and that we can do this again and have a lovely whatever day it is that I posted this. Have a lovely day. Um, I have enough iron. I can spare some for this purpose. And I will catch you on the flip side. Ciao, guys.